Hello, this is Martin Daubney from Inspire Coaching in Basel, and I'm here on day six of the 12 techniques from HeartMath for a reduced stress and more balanced life at this time of year. Day six is all about ease. And it's a beautiful state to get into, especially when things have been a bit rough. So if you're feeling a bit ragged and you're feeling a bit tense and you're feeling a bit as if things aren't really going the way you want them to do, it's probably partly, uh, obviously there's external circumstances going on, but it's partly down to how you're interpreting what is going on. And if you're doing that from a state of stress or anxiety or fear, then never ever going to get the best possible outcome. A much better state to be in is ease. And we've all been there and we can all do ease. You just have to do this intentionally time and time again to get better at it, to allow ourselves to be at the best state we possibly can. So how do we do it? Well, if you've been following this series so far, you'll know that we breathe. We breathe in through the heart or the chest area, allowing that breath to flow in here and out again, a little bit slower and a little bit deeper than you would normally do. So I'll allow you to do that. Get a little bit deeper, a little bit slower, and allow that air, that beautiful air, to flow in through your heart and back out through your heart. A little bit slower, a little bit deeper than normal. And with each breath, breathe in that state of ease to balance your mental and emotional state. And going back to the first day of Christmas, anchoring, anchor that feeling in. So you can draw on that feeling whenever you're coming across any challenges in any situation, being at work or family or outside somewhere. So you can step into that wonderful place of ease rapidly and start to make really good, clear decisions for you. So give that a go. See if you can maintain that state for three to five minutes, a couple of times a day, and start to build the muscle of inner ease so you can step into it really quickly, uh, either before you need it, if you know there's that tricky conversation coming up, or after when you've had that tricky conversation. And see what difference that makes to how you approach your life next time. If you'd like to leave some comments in the comments box below, that would be fantastic. And I'll see you tomorrow. But in the meantime, do keep well.